Um, I think we're Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. We'll just give one more minute to see if there are any other uh, people that join us uh, in the room tonight. My name is Michael Partridge. I am a teacher for the Ottawa Carleton District School Board. And in fact, I am working at the school board as an ICT consultant. Um, and uh, I have a, a wealth of experience in technologies, mostly in the soft tech area. So I do have um, uh, lots of communications technology in video work, graphic design, um, animation, those kinds of uh, digital arts. And then I also have uh, some technology uh, experience in manufacturing. And uh, so I'm gonna introduce you to a number of uh, things for soft tech. So things that are relating to computer use and courses that might be interesting to you for computer use. And I'm gonna share a little slide deck with you and we'll go through that over the next 14, 15 minutes. And then there'll be a short time for some questions at the end. So I'm gonna share my screen now at this point. Just be a moment. And just one more moment. I, here we go. Excellent. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at soft tech. So these are computer courses that are um, using computers and computer labs as the most often access point. So uh, the first group of courses that I'm going to talk about are the TG courses. So those are technology courses that are going to start with your course code TG. Communication technologies, for example, is TGJ and graphic design is often called TGG or yearbook. Um, there are other courses that are digital arts courses and we'll go through some of those examples. And then there is a whole section of courses that are TE courses. And that stands for technology engineering or uh, computer engineering. And that has to do with um, a lot of uh, computer parts, hardware and software mixed together. And then the last section that we'll go through are computer science courses. And they are under a different category called ICS courses. Okay, so I'm just going to move into here. The first category of courses, TG and digital arts, are all about media production. They're about um, taking assets, either with cameras or um, collection of uh, assets and then being able to do the production. Okay. And um, they're everything from uh, TV, movie making, audio production, graphic design, things like that, all the way up to new types of technologies that are like uh, virtual reality, uh, augmented reality, um, special effects in movies, etc. A lot of these courses are hands-on. You're in the lab. Um, you do a lot of collection of assets as a team, storyboarding and script writing, things like that. And then a lot of the actual production and editing is done individually at your computer. The way that these courses all work is that they have open courses for grade nine and 10, which means there are no prerequisites for the grade nine and 10 courses. But for grade 12, you must have taken the grade 11 course. 
okay? There are no prerequisites for the grade 11. So you could start communications technologies in grade 11 and then complete it in grade 12, or you could do a little bit of it every year. The second type of soft tech that are offered in our schools are computer technology courses. And it's a bit of a gray zone between hardware and software development. Things like using Arduino uh, or Raspberry Pi or uh, breadboards where circuitry is learned and played with and experimented with to make programs run and work. That's the kind of thing that you would do in a TEJ course. So it's technology, computer technologies, or called computer engineering. All right. The, in grade 12, for example, they'll do a little bit of work with networks and switches and uh, programming of those kinds of things. Okay. The last group of soft tech courses that I'll talk about fall under a different curriculum. And this curriculum is called computer studies. And I'll have links for all of this for you. I'll put that in the chat in a couple minutes. So in a computer sciences area, what you're looking at doing there is a lot more coding or programming. Be learning languages like Java or C++. You'll be working in things like Replit or uh, Microsoft uh, Studio um, and code. And you're developing software, you're developing programs, you're verifying that they work, finding solutions to, uh, to errors in code, etc. In this same concept, in order to take the grade 12 computer science course, you must have taken the grade 11. But the grade 10 option is just that, it's an option. It's not necessary in order to start in grade 11. It is helpful though. In all of our schools, there are specialty, uh, specialist high skills major collection of courses that might be of interest to you if you're looking at soft tech courses. And what that is, is a collection of courses that get you extra certifications before you move on to college or university or for um, or the workplace. Like I said, I'm going to give you um, the link to this slide deck in a moment, and you'll see that there are details about where to get which specialist high skills major. There's also a, uh, one of the workshops this evening that is about specialist high skills majors. Okay, on this last slide here, um, I have a link to the grade 9, 10 tech curriculum, where you can find information about the communications technology courses. So that's TGJ courses, and also the TEJ computer engineering. The last link that's on this slide here, this is the curriculum for computer science courses if you want to know more about what you would cover in those courses. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll grab that link right now and I'll put that in the chat so that you can take a look at this slide deck if that's of interest to you. Okay, and now I'm going to go to the Q&A area. 
and take a look at the different uh, Q and A's. If anybody has any questions, we have about five minutes before you'll change into your next session. So we have a question here. So the question is for going into grade nine, do I, should I look at the um, requirements and start in grade nine to uh, make sure that I can get into the SHSM? The answer is it's not necessary in grade nine. As you do your course selections right now, what you'll be able to do is choose from your options, you only get to choose one extra course in grade nine. And if this is of interest to you, then I might suggest the TIJ course, if it's available at your school. TIJ stands for um, Exploring Technologies. So you would touch on a couple of different tech and that would kind of get your brain going ready for a grade 10 into grade 11 to grade 12. So for grade nine, you might want to choose the TIJ. In grade 10, if you want to do and follow into a specialist high skills major, I would suggest you take one of these courses that leads to that group of, um, of courses. So TGJ, grade 10, grade 11, grade 12, if that's of interest. Otherwise, computer engineering, TEJ, grade 10, grade 11, grade 12. If you're in computer sciences is your interest, then grade 10, grade 11, grade 12. I hope that answers the question. Okay, so I'm available to answer any other questions um, at the moment now. Otherwise, you're uh, certainly, I'm gonna get back to my other window. And I'm gonna move from this one to this one here. Thank you very much. I appreciate your, your question and uh, have a good evening. You can stop recording, yes. I think we'll start in a moment. Excellent, so um, good evening everyone. Uh, my name is Michael Partridge. I am a teacher with the Ottawa Carleton District School Board. I am also the um, secondary ICT consultant for technology at our school board's uh, tech department. Um, this evening, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about soft tech. So that would be computer-based courses. Um, oftentimes, these courses are taught in a computer lab setting. Um, more often than in a regular classroom, they are working in a one-to-one -one ratio, where it would be one student per computer. Um, in most of these cases, we're working with uh, PCs that are Windows-based. In some cases, with only a couple of our schools, there are some Mac labs. But in most cases, we're working on PCs in a lab environment. Um, what I'd like to do is uh, share with you a couple of different, uh, three different categories of soft tech courses. And maybe that would help you make a decision on the pathway that you'll take going through high school. Understanding, of course, that as you move into grade nine, you really only have one course 
that you're able to select in your grade nine year. In grade 10, you'll have a number of different courses, uh, maybe two options in your grade 10 year, and then more and more choice as you move into grade 11 and 12. So I'm going to share you um, my screen and what we'll do is we'll go through a little bit of a slide deck that helps um, understand what kinds of courses are available here. Sorry, I'll speak more loudly then. Um, okay. So I'm gonna head on back to the start of this presentation. Here we go, for soft tech. So basically what we're looking at are three different categories of courses. There are courses that are much more artistic in their um, delivery and their media production. And those are TG courses. They stand for technology-based courses in graphics. So TGJ, TGG, those are courses that are digital arts courses, okay? The next section after that, I'll talk about our TE courses, and those stand for technology engineering courses. And then the last one that I'll talk about are ICS courses, and those have a separate curriculum and that's called a computer science curriculum. Okay, so I'm gonna move forward into here. The first category, and maybe uh, what I can do is uh, add the link for this presentation. Just give me a moment and I'll put it into, uh, maybe you already have it. I've put it into the chat there in case you wanna get hold of this uh, short, short, tiny slide deck that gives you some links out to the, ver the various uh, curriculum. So communications technology is a course that is hands-on. Um, there are a lot of asset creation in this course. So asset creation means you're taking photos, you're taking video, you're setting up green screens, you're creating and capturing images and assets to be able to then edit, manipulate, um, create effects, um, uh, mesh together all sorts of um, media in your edit to be able to entertain, to be able to send messages, to be able to communicate with target audiences. So it's a hands-on course, like I said, collection of things, and then editing and production of media projects. And the reason why I bring up TG courses is because that's the um, technology-based ComTech. But in a lot of schools, you'll also want to take a look at if there are some digital arts options. And those will be categorized differently. They will be AW or AM courses that are um, digital arts. So some schools have them for photography, some have them for um, graphic design. They're more on the art side, less on the ComTech side, depending on how they code them. What's important to note here is that if I go backwards from grade 12, if you want to leave high school with a grade 12 ComTech course, you must take the grade 11, okay? So it's a minimum of two to be able to move out of high school with these courses under your belt, off to college or university or into the workforce. They're an M level course and M means mixed. So it, it, it can count towards your university or your college direction, okay? The grade nine and 10 options that are listed here are not compulsory, but they help build your capacities. So they'll help you in the grade 11 course. These courses are often offered as an option, especially here in grade nine, to be able to take 
uh, the Exploring Technologies course. All right, so that first category is called Communications Technology or ComTech or Digital Arts. The next category of uh, soft tech is kind of a gray zone. It's kind of a little bit of hardware and software to work with. And those two areas kind of work together for computer technology courses, and they're called TE courses. They uh, work a little bit of hardware and a little bit of software. So you'd be doing some hands-on work with breadboards or Arduinos or Raspberry Pis where you're physically plugging and unplugging and figuring out how connections and transistors and switches work. And then you'll do some coding in order to make these uh, machineries work. Much like ComTech, if you take a look at the requisites, what you have here is that in grade, if you want to take grade 12, again, you must have taken grade 11. But before that, they are optional courses. Okay, so similar pathway. Move into that last section and the last type of soft tech that is offered at the, all of our schools is in computer studies or computer sciences. What these kinds of courses offer is a lot more software based. It's a lot more you and the computer and coding and programming and then verifying code to make sure it's all good. You work in teams to challenge each other um, in working with data and databases and website design sometimes. So this is not a hardware course. You're not usually plugging things in. This is much more about programming. You're usually going to work in languages like uh, C++ or Java, um, and you're learning to code in those languages. Again, if you want to get out of high school with a grade 12 course in computer sciences because you're interested in going into college or university, you must also have taken the grade 11 course. The grade 10 course is open, you see that there, and open means that there is no prerequisite. All right. All three of these um, areas for soft tech could lead you towards a specialist high skills major. And these ASH, uh, SHSM collection of courses are not offered at every school, but you can move schools to go and take advantage of getting that high skills major. If you're interested in finding out where the SHSMs are, you can click on this link here and that'll bring you to a page of which high school offers which specialist high skills major. There's also another uh, session on tonight in the open house. If you're interested in learning specifically about these high skills majors. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get over to the Q&A. All right, I'm going to get over to the Q&A um, and see, okay, is there no question just yet? On this last slide here for, the, uh, for tonight, I have three links that go to the grade 9, 10 curriculum, to the grade 11 and 12 curriculum, and then to the computer sciences curriculum. So if you want to know more in detail about what kind of work you're going to do in these courses, you would find it in the curriculum. It'll explain what kind of challenges, what kind of content, and what kind of things you would be doing. Okay. So I'm going to head on to the Q&A, and maybe I can answer some questions for you. If you have any questions, I'm there in the Q&A for you. 
these courses, uh, different schools will have different um, uh, facilities, different labs. Uh, as you walk around your open house, hopefully you get to a physical open house. And if these courses are of interest to you, ask to visit the computer labs so that you can see what kind of uh, hardware you might be working with. Many of the curriculum, uh, sorry, many of the uh, computer science courses will use cloud-based programming. Uh, in the lower grades, you start with simple things like Scratch and um, you work into then um, uh, Scratch coding, maybe that's just text-based rather than maybe some of the things you've done in elementary school that have been block-based. And then later on, they'll move you into very specific apps like Replit if they're working online. Most of the computer um, ComTech and tech engineering courses will be using PCs in a lab environment. Okay, so I'm available here for any questions. I still see that there are about 13 people in the room and hopefully I see actually a lot of people on the slide deck, so that's great. And hopefully those links are of help to you. And then as people get ready for the next session, I'll continue to stick around for the Q&As if you have any questions, but feel free to get ready for the last session of the evening. Start in All right, good evening. Uh, it is almost 8.20, so we are ready for your last session of the evening. Um, my name is Michael Partridge. I am a teacher for the Ottawa Carleton District School Board, and I am currently working in our tech department for the next couple of years as an ICT consultant. Um, I am here tonight to talk about soft tech. So soft tech being computer based technologies um, and courses that are relating to working with computers and digital media, digital learning. There are other courses that are more based in technology that are um, physical with machinery like construction or uh, green industries or other, but I am going to talk about ones that are much more related to just working with computers. All right. In order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, share a slide deck on the screen and we'll walk through that. It's a short little deck that has a bunch of links in it. And so what I'll do is in the chat right now, I'll, play, I'll paste the link to that slide deck so that you can choose to go and explore some of the links if you wish, as I kind of talk through things. Of course, I welcome you to add some questions and answers to the Q&A section of the VFairs, and I'll start presenting now and I'll kind of monitor those Q&As for you. Okay, so just be a second, move over to the slide deck. And I see that a number of people have already joined me in there, but um, feel free to poke around this very quick little slide deck just to help us understand a little bit about soft tech, so computer-based courses that are available to you at most high schools. Um, and I'm going to go through three different categories of soft tech. All right. So the first category of soft tech that I'll go through are going to have a course code that is a T and a J, a G, T, G. Okay, and those are ComTech related courses, graphic design, video work, uh, photography, animation, things that are communicating through digital means. In there, there are a number of high schools that will also have digital arts courses 
that are doing similar types of media production. The second type of course that I'm going to talk about in soft tech is going to be TE courses. And those are courses that are relating to engineering, technology engineering, computer engineering. So there's going to be a little bit more hands-on and some schools will also have robotics courses built in there. The last kind of courses for soft tech will be computer science courses. And they have a different course code altogether because they have a different um, curriculum and it's called ICS courses. So those are computer science courses. All right, the first category, um, communications technology and digital arts. And those are courses where you are uh, collecting assets, either through cameras or uh, mobile devices. You are collecting things to be able to then edit and produce either alone or in teams for the purpose of communicating messages, whether that message is to promote or advertise something or is to change society in a particular way, or if it's just for entertainment. But communications technology courses do a lot of that capture and then edit and produce. Most high schools will have these ComTech courses and digital arts courses, some of which will be um, in the TG courses, and then others will be in the arts department. So for example, AW or AM, okay? So these courses here are, are courses that you are producing things for consumption by your viewers. Um, in order to do these kinds of courses, you need to be able to uh, hit your grade 12, you'll want to plan backwards to be able to do the prerequisite, which is a grade 11 course. The grade nine and grade 10 courses are not required to be able to graduate with a grade 12 ComTech course. The second category of computer courses or soft tech courses that are available to you in most schools are TE courses. And these TE courses are tech engineering and they're courses where there's hands-on work, working either with uh, breadboards and wiring and uh, sensors, lights, kind of things like that. They can also be using things like Arduino or Raspberry Pi and after all of the hardware is put together, then you can then work with the um, coding and programming of those pieces. So here's a little bit of a description, what it's about, what you'll learn, what you'll do. And again, these courses, in order to graduate in grade 12 with a computer engineering course, what you need to be able to do is also take the grade 11 course. Grade nine and 10 courses are optional, but of course will help you um, do better in the grade 11 course. All right, the last group of courses in soft tech that I'll talk about are called computer studies or computer sciences courses. And they have a different course code. They are ICS courses. These courses here are much more about software development. They're about programming. They're about learning a coding language in order to build um, uh, databases, in order to build websites, in order to build things that uh, apps, for example, are also built in grade, uh, grade 12. And so these courses would help you get into a university or college programs that are computer science based. 
Okay, again, the requirements start in grade 11. You have to take the grade 11 computer sciences to get into the grade 12 computer sciences. Grade 10 courses there are open and do not require a prerequisite. All right, all three of these kinds of soft tech courses um, can help you move towards a specialist high skills major. And if you're interested in knowing what high skill major is available at your high school, you'll be able to click on the link here, click for details. And that'll help you understand which school offers which specialties. Some schools offer a com tech specialty where you're working at building media, recording and broadcasting um, different school events and you're producing the videos and the websites and the graphic design, the animations, the, um, the, the motion graphics that introduce different videos. And then in other schools, they might have an ICS or computer sciences more focused high skills major. Other schools will have a tech base that's not related to soft tech. So you can take a look at where these things are. In this last slide here, like I said, is a quick little presentation, but in this last slide here, there are the links to the grade nine and 10 curriculum. So what kinds of things would you be doing in grade nine and 10 in these three different types of, of courses? And then you have a grade 11 and 12 curriculum for tech. And then lastly, the last link there, computer science curriculum will help you understand what kinds of learning, what kinds of problem solving, what kinds of programming you would do in computer sciences. Okay, I'm going to just uh, flip my um, screen over to the Q&A area. And that's the information I wanted to share with you tonight about soft tech in your schools. And like I said, different schools will have different courses available to you. So you'll have to take a look at your um, uh, course fair or the slide presentation where you get your like welcome to grade nine and you get to choose which courses you might want to take. Of course, you know that in grade nine, you only have one optional course. If any of these three areas are of interest to you, you might want to consider the Exploring Technology course in grade nine. And it's called TIJ as a course code. TIJ. That's Exploring Tech. That would allow you to kind of get a feel as to what your school offers in technologies. And then you would go forward into grade 10, 11, 12, if this area is of interest to you. All of these areas can have the three different kinds of uh, pathways out of high school. They can lead to the job market directly out of high school. You could also go to college after any of these courses. And you can also go to university and using these grade 12 courses in your university requirements. Okay. Um, I don't see any questions in the Q&A for me. Um, I think we have another two minutes or so before the end of the session. But if you want to have, uh, if you have any questions, just type them into the Q&A area and I'd be happy to try to answer them for you. And at 8.31. Okay, and if I understand correctly, from this session, you'll be uh, moving back to the main auditorium to finish up this evening's event. So feel free to head back to the auditorium. The last event will start, I believe, at 840.
Have a good evening, everyone. I appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. There is one question here that I'll try to answer. So that will be, uh, would you suggest doing computer technology in grade nine and doing computer science in grade 10? You'll notice that it will depend on what's available at your school. So you'll have to see what's available in your course selections for grade nine. Exploring technologies is likely available in grade nine. And then um, your pathway starts in grade 10, really. So your answer would be computer sciences, starting grade 10, for sure. If it's offered to you in grade nine at your school, you could do that too. Hope that helps. Okay, and we can stop recording there.